Kanye was actually on this um, pretty interesting podcast um, a few days ago called Allo Mindful Podcast, where he essentially spoke about, you know, his current issues that he has going on with the Gap and stuff to do with Adidas, his general mindset and overall. It's a pretty kind of interesting interview all, all around. It's only 30 minutes long, but it's pretty kind of um, jam-packed with information for people who are fans of Kanye, you know, myself included. But one part that really sort of grinded my gears and really kind of got me hot and bothered was a section in the podcast just really at the beginning of it where essentially the um, host of the show is basically talking about a book that he's read and quoting some things. And he basically tells Kanye that he's read a few books, a lot of books, whatever it may be. And Kanye basically replies back with, I've never read a book and sort of kind of boasts about the fact that he doesn't read overall. And it just really grinded my gears for the reasons I will explain after I play the clip. He, you know, I, I was telling him that I've read a book at least a hundred times, and basically the um, the meaning of the book is that if you believe you can, then you can. But if you believe you can't, then you can't. There's there's two people: um, the man who thinks they can, and the man who thinks they can't, and they're both right. That's right. That's what you were saying, but that was like a simplified version. Yeah. The one who wins the race is the one who believes they can. The oak lies in the acorn. And Ye was telling me that he hasn't read this book, but I was telling him that every positive attribute he naturally embodies. And that's extraordinary, you know, to have that confidence, you know, from being such a young kid and going out there and inspiring and having this vision and actualizing it is uh is extraordinary also when you said i hadn't read this book i actually haven't read any book reading is like eating brussels sprouts for me and talking is like getting the giorgio baldi corn ravioli oh, yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a good conversation mm -hmm. is mike mike howe that invented the rip saw so you know him describing reading as being akin to eating broccoli, you know, which is what a kid would say about broccoli, right? Because you you want to eat flipping chicken nuggets and chicken dinosaurs and happy face potatoes, whatever it may be. It's pretty hilarious, right? But it goes to maybe speak to where Kanye is as a person overall. But the reason why I find it infuriating overall is because, you know, you can sit there and say you don't read books, but if you're Kanye West, for the most part, if you surround yourself with the people that he does surround himself with, the likes of Elon Musk and all these, you know, stellar designers and artists and stuff, by proxy and by default of standing around these guys and being friends with them and talking with them over dinners and drinks and going on holiday with them and partying with them, you're essentially reading books because they read them. They're going to relay back information to you that they've read in books, you know, anecdotes, maybe things, you know, that maybe they think will maybe apply to your journey or to your struggle or whatever it may be because I know for me you know having read you know basically four books a month for the majority of my life right I know for the most part if you're an avid reader you know avid readers out there will probably understand you can't wait to tell somebody the things that you've read or the things that you found out especially if you think it's going to be somewhat helpful because you want to basically pass that knowledge on you rarely read books for your own enjoyment you read them kind of yeah obviously partly for your own enjoyment and also for the you know the enjoyment of basically sharing the ideas and the recommendations of books that you basically read that have kind of changed your life or impacted you in any kind of meaningful way so this idea that he hasn't read any books is dumb because he has because of people he hangs around with and also the other part about it that's really interesting is that this is the guy that basically you know for the most part you know even if you're a big Kanye stan you would obviously say that one of the things that Kanye suffers from a lot is his poor communication style right he has a very strange and maybe um obtuse and maybe you know um what do you call it uh, confront, not kind of confrontational. He has a very difficult communication style to kind of pass through and to kind of navigate and to kind of deal with, maybe in personal life and also in his business. We've seen it through the kind of you know public spats he's had for the most part, where you know he's been maybe right in some of his points, but the way he's kind of got it across has made him come across like a bit of a piece of shit, right, or a bit of a whatever, maybe bully, whatever word you want to describe to it. So for someone to sit there and say they prefer talking over reading, yet people complain about your communication style is absolutely hilarious to me. And the other part of it that's also hilarious is that for the last few weeks, we've seen Kanye ranting and raving online about, you know, deals that he's kind of upset with, whether it's Gap that he'd recently terminated, whether it's Adidas that he's in, you know, back and forth with, um, whatever it may be, he's kind of been in some 
way in shape or form in some sort of you know tussle with somebody concerning a contract he has i think before he was arguing with def jam for his masters like loads of things like that so for somebody who kind of wants to boast about reading maybe he should read because it seems like he can't read or understand contracts which also is just interesting because he's meant to be this big mogul guy this big um businessman and entrepreneur all this sort of stuff which he clearly is because he's become incredibly wealthy and successful over a very short period of time with the stuff he's been doing um obviously recently with yeezy and whatnot but clearly there is something missing in terms of his maybe understanding or how business deals and deals with corporations are put together, relationship building, how to communicate effectively, make it work, whatever it may be. I don't know what those are because I've never been in those rooms, but there's definitely something missing in his basically arsenal of skills that would basically put him in a position where he's consistently having to come across these hurdles. And then they're not specific to him. They're not things that have been done only to him. They're things that have been done in a situation because effectively the business side of things hasn't really been addressed in the right way the relationship side of thing the relationship building side of thing hasn't been addressed in the right type of way and now he's in this position where he's basically ranting and screaming on instagram posting screenshots of contracts and stuff and asking people for help so on one side of things he's this creative genius who should be left alone to do whatever he wants to do or the other side of things when he gets in trouble or he needs some help he cries to the public and asks everybody to kind of help him and it's really infantile and sort of babyish of him to do that kind of thing it really is kind of annoying and it kind of does piss me off in general because i feel like it's such a horrible message to send out is the people that you don't need to read because yes he may let's say he is one of the rare people in the world who don't need to read books because he's just that smart that knowledgeable that creative that amazing cool but it's not something that you should boast about because for the most part most people need to read books in order to get forward in life and i think for myself why it's triggering for me also is because I didn't really grow up in a, you know, in a rich family. I didn't grow up in a good or kind of nice neighborhood. Um, I had my struggles growing up and whatnot. And, you know, as much as I like to hate to admit it, my parents were right when I was growing up, right? Education was really one of the easiest ways aside from sport or anything else that could allow you the opportunity to kind of escape your current circumstances to maybe build a better future for myself and my family and my friends and whatnot. That kind of gave you the prospect of kind of, you know, seeing bigger and better things out there in the world. And the easiest way to do it was obviously education. Obviously in places like the UK with it being free, why not take advantage of it, right? Especially up to a certain level, right? It's always going to be free. So why not take advantage of it? And reading became, a, for me especially, having grown up in a really kind of, you know, frantic and crazy neighborhood, it became like a bit of an escape route to kind of escape the daily toils and struggles I had going on outside of life. So I kind of escaped myself through music and through books. And to see this guy kind of poo-pooing the importance of books completely is just absolutely insane. Because um, I could say he definitely has been successful in spite of his reading, but just imagine how much more successful or how more amazing uh, and how more stellar Kanye could be if he did decide to pick up a book or two, read an autobiography, figure out that maybe his experience that he's going through isn't only um, specific or kind of, um, you know, uh, specially made to him. Maybe other people in life, in other walks of life have gone through the similar sort of things. Maybe getting anecdotes and stories and stuff from situations in the past that maybe relate to his, whatever it may be. Um, books are important in that way. So to kind of poo-poo it in general, it's just really, really dumb. And also last point about it is that this idea that he's kind of promoting and putting out there that he's obviously starting, or he's done already, this done the school, this academy that he's starting, right? Where he's kind of trying to provide an alternative curriculum to what's going on there in the education system in the United States which is a good and noble idea there's a lot of cool ideas there about embracing technology um about teaching kids like you know actual kind of like skills that they can use and you know in, in the wider world whether it comes to social media or it comes to computing whatever it may be right there's some novel and good ideas there but overall and obviously with having a christian founding and whatnot cool 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 that's all fair enough but for somebody that boasts about not reading to to all to then go out there and tell parents to basically send their kids to his school that's you know that's just getting this kind of just getting on his feet it's absolutely hilarious it's probably the worst way possible to promote a kind of mini alternative school um that i could ever imagine so it's really really interesting to hear him say that you know in spite of everything that's kind of going on in the world but hey what can you do so yeah i, I don't really understand that i don't get why he kind of kind of keeps beating about this kind of not reading thing it's not a cool thing it doesn't make you look awesome because you don't read if anything it kind of explains a lot of the situations that kind of kind of is going through in terms of his career and everything else but again Again, you know, who am I to speak about the great man? Who am I to speak?